We begin this morning with breaking news. Four people are dead following a crash. I'm Don Shipman. And I'm Lana Harris. It's a really gruesome way to start off your morning, but we got to tell you what's going on here. We're told that car caught fire after it flipped. It happened in Clayton County on I-75 southbound, just north of the I-285 eastbound exit. That is where we find Atlanta News first reporter Madeline Montgomery. Madeline, I just can't believe uh, this is some people's families here. Uh, what have you learned so far? It's just a horrible thing to wake up to, and we're learning that this whole mess was caused by people who are going way over the speed limit. In fact, Clayton County Police are telling us they were going over 100 miles per hour over here when they ended up clipping a car that we can actually see over here, barely over in these trees. They clipped the car, then they ended up hitting these trees, caught on fire, and that resulted in four people dying. Just a tragic situation, and police tell us that two people in that car were ejected from the vehicle. The other two and a dog were trapped in the burning vehicle. Police believe it was two men and two women in the car but are having problems identifying the four victims because of how severe this accident was. Police say this happened a little after one this morning and they say that speeding is a common problem late at night and early in the morning because in this area the roads are just clear at that time and so people don't even realize how fast they're going. They don't believe that they were racing. They think they were just speeding and they're urging people to drive more carefully so that officers don't have to go and respond to these gruesome types of situations. I just spoke with one of the sergeants on scene. She said that this is one of the most horrific scenes that they've ever seen. So yes, our officers probably will um, seek assistance from our chaplains and our peer support and everything. The man who was in the car that you can see over there was injured when his car was clipped and he was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital. And if you are driving over here in 75 southbound this morning, please take note that the right two lanes are still shut down because first responders are still out here and they're still investigating this accident. So just be aware that there are folks walking around out here right before you get to the 285 eastbound exit. We're now reporting live in Clayton County. I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.